Everybody, welcome back to Just Shy. I am Shy, the person, not the adjective. And today we are going to do a little shop with me, kinda. <laughs> Basically, um, someone told me about yet another new Japanese proxy site, and of course, me being me, I have to try it out. So. Today we are trying out a proxy called Syndico. I really like that name, but um, they can apparently buy from anywhere. They have a kind of built-in feature. They have an order form feature in case you want to order from somewhere that's not built in. So I thought we would do a little shop with me and I would show you how I use Syndico and give you my thoughts. And of course, we're going to have a haul at the end of this. Okay, so let's start off on the Syndico website. So this is what comes up when you just type in syndico.com here. And you can see um, they advertise some shops and, you know, all the normal proxy stuff, fake reviews, probably. <laughs> I'm sorry. I always see these and think they're fake. It could be real. I don't know. But I don't know. they look pretty fake to me. Anyway, so as you can see up here, you can see my name and you can see I have some money. So if we go into my wallet, then you can see that I used WISE. Oh, that is not how you highlight. WISE to transfer money into my Syndico account, which is why I'm making this video. Um, I am a big user of multiple different kinds of currency. I shop in USD, I shop in Korean won, I shop in Japanese yen, I shop in Indonesian rupaya. Like I'm, I'm out here with the currencies. And so transfer wise really comes in handy when you need to pay people who are not in the same country as you. Um, and I like them a lot because they have way lower fees than PayPal. So I will go through it a little bit if I pick add deposit over here. So um, you can pay with PayPal. And as you can see down here, it says PayPal fee 3.7% plus 40 in. Um, that's not ideal for a shy for um, it's not a huge fee, but I shop so much that that fee really adds up for me in particular. So they have a lot of options down here. You can use Union Pay. You can just transfer directly from your bank, credit cards, WeChat. Some of these things are not available if you live in the U.S. I don't know what Canada has, but everybody has Wise. <laughs> so I'll probably like blur this part out right here, but... Um, as you can see, it says wise deposit fee is less than 1%. So I am saving at least, you know, 3% on whatever I buy. Plus I don't have to pay that like 40 yen deposit fee that PayPal charges. Like I love it. I love using wise for everything. It's how I pay all of my Korean sellers. It's how I pay my Indonesian proxy sellers. It's how I pay everybody basically if I can. So um, when I saw that they accepted WISE, I went ahead and made that um, test deposit. So right here, you can just see that I sent over 345 yen. It's just um, a balance I had in my TransferWISE wallet. And I was like, okay, I wanted to see um, if there was any additional fees that they weren't telling me about. Um, anything like that, how fast it would take, uh, it would, or how long it would take to get to Syndico once I sent it from TransferWise. Cause sometimes they're like, oh yeah, you can use the service. And then it takes 17 business weeks for the money to actually get there. So, um, you can see the time and date that I tested this. I sent it from Wise. It was basically immediate. Like they sent it post haze. And so I just now um, did another transfer and I sent in some actual money so that we can shop. There's a card I want to get. <laughs> There's always a card I want to get. Do I need it? I'm going to argue yes. So now with all of that out of the way, let's actually use Syndico. So I have learned 
such an amazing, amazing way to shop with Syndico. So um, up here you can see it says buy from. You can do it at Katan, but honestly, since they also charge a 500 yen fee or $5 fee, um, I would just leave Rakuten to Neokyo where the fee is $2.50. Like, get that half price fee, girl. Um, so I wouldn't particularly use it for Rakuten, but for Mercari, where there, I haven't found a proxy that shops from here for less than 500 yen, this will be great. So, um, because uh, we, are, we are not by East Stands here, no. But as you can see, it says, please input search keyword or the item ID. So when I first came on here, I just typed in ATs and I was like, okay, what's it gonna pull up if I just was like, I want some ATs. And so basically I learned um, that, it, ooh. <laughs> not the KQ shop pause. Ooh, that way on, I'm gonna need to get him, but that's not, that's neither here nor there. Okay. Um, basically what this does is pull up the very first page um from mercari but as you can see when we scroll down i can't go to the other pages in mercari so i honestly wouldn't recommend that you use it like this because i was kind of like oh well i can only buy these things otherwise i'm gonna have to go to like the order form and have to like submit links and I don't I don't want to do all this I'm just gonna be real with y'all I'm lazy if I have to start submitting links and I have to copy and paste the names and the deep I'm I don't want to do it I don't want to do it so what I did learn is um that you can just use the item ID so let's look at my <laughs> one of my mini tabs of things I just keep on hand that I just keep an eye on that I want to buy uh, oh, nope, not this one. <laughs> nope, <laughs> this one. So this is Jongo's um, Make Star Winter PC, the pajama PC. Look at him. He's in his little bathroom. <laughs> okay, sorry. I really want this card. So um, it is 4,444 yen. That is a beautiful price, especially for a winner's PC. So I came on here and I was like, okay, I need to find the item ID because that's, I want to see if it works and I want this card and it's not showing up when I type in 80s because it's not on the first page. So what I did was I scrolled all around uselessly. The item ID is not here. The item ID is actually this, not the whole link, but just this, this M3325, that, that is the item number. So copy this, go back over to Syndico and put it in here. Wait 17 hours, cause it takes a minute. <laughs> Boom, there we go. And then as you can see, it pulls up this exact listing. It's already got everything in there and I can just click buy. Now, if you do not have this amount of money in your wallet, it will not say buy here. It will tell you like, hey, you're broke, put some money in your wallet. <laughs> but like the Syndico version of that, it won't say that exactly, but it will say like, you don't have money in your wallet. Please, please insert coin here. Um, so we're gonna click buy. This item can be purchased only after approval by the seller. Cool, yes, please Sit to get, get the approval by all means. And then it will bring you back here and as you can see I have a little red dot my orders and Jongo so he is now pending until the seller is like yeah okay you can go ahead and buy this and then he will show up here as like purchased and everything like that but that is the basics on how to use Syndico I'm gonna buy some more stuff and then I will check in with you guys Okay, so I've been uh, shopping a little bit more, but something else I wanted to note um, that I'm already preferring um, this service over others is that um, you can see for this Hongjun card, it looks familiar, but I trust me, it's different. It says, sorry, this item is currently only available in Japan. So um, as we all know, Mercari has a partnership with Baiyi. So um, when you see this button, it means that you cannot buy this item if you're shopping using Baiyi. 
So um, I wanted to make sure that this kind of limitation wasn't also with Syndico. So I did go ahead and type in the thing and it did pull up just fine. So if you're a person who frequently shops on actual Mercari Japan and not just through the Bayi website, you'll have access to a lot more stuff um, that you wouldn't normally be able to buy. See, like this one you could buy with Bayi. Hongjun you can't. Um, and this Yuta set that I'm looking at, you wouldn't be able to buy either. So um, that is just also something that I wanted to mention that even if it says, sorry, this um, item is currently only available in Japan, you can still get it with Syndico. So I just wanted to mention that. Now back to more shopping for Shy. Okay, so as you can see, it is quite a bit <laughs> later. I have been shopping up a storm. You can see I have 64 purchases. So um, I will walk you through a little bit how the shipping works. I can't go into it because one, I already did it. And two, it has like my address and things. So like, maybe let's not. But um, so as you can see, I bought quite a lot of stuff, most of it being ATs. And I decided I wanted to get this stuff shipped before the end of the year. Um, because I am moving next year and it's going to take me a while to unpack. And so I won't have stuff coming um, to me for a while until I get settled. So I wanted to go ahead and get this stuff so I could get it filmed for you guys so that you guys could have content in the meantime. So yes, this is everything that I purchased. Things like this means they have paid for it and it is being shipped to the warehouse currently. I just put in a request for this, so it is still pending to see if it will go through. But basically, um, if you have a lot of stuff and you're like, okay, I just want to ship what has arrived, you can press this button, which I have already done that, so it doesn't say anything, but then it'll go into create parcel right here and it will walk you through what shipping uh, uh what shipping is available to you just based on the weight of your items i have some light sticks in here so i didn't qualify for like the small parcel mail so I'll, i have to pay for dhl but like that's not new and um it'll walk you through and say the price isn't final but you know we'll pack everything and then you know we'll let you know and we'll give you a price so that is basically it. I still have five quadrillion tabs over here. Just shh, don't look at all those signs. <laughs> um, so yes, um, I just put in the request to have everything consolidated. And so it, after I pay shipping, it will be shipped to me. And then you guys will see me in real time as we unbox this. So let's get to it okay hello hello the box has arrived i'm so excited i have not looked in it yet i just took the little like label thing out of here and like unsealed it but i have not opened it something is making a suspicious jingling noise in here and like i did order a light stick so i'm hoping it's not that because <laughs> as far as i know light sticks don't jingle but <laughs> what do i know so yes um, I do want to note that the shipping works a little bit differently on this site. So when I was um, doing the like shipping quote and everything like that, when I picked DHL, they were like, it could be $250. And honestly, most of my shipments are in that range. I was like, oh, okay, sure. And I just like clicked through and I was like, yeah, whatever. Um, but when it came for me to actually pay, this shipment only cost me like $67. So um, definitely if you if you see like your shipping quote and you're like, whoa, why is it like two or $300 or something? Don't worry. Um, that's, I guess they're just telling you like the maximum of what it could be. Um, so yes, I just wanted to note that in case anybody does end up using this service and they see that and they're like, shy, why is my shipping $5 trillion? Like, don't worry, it's just <laughs> an estimate and then they'll get you an actual quote once you pick the service that you want to use. Okay, so let's open her up. Hopefully my name isn't just like on oh, the top. All right, let's look. What is this? Oh, this is the jingling. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I cannot read kanji. Oh God, no. <laughs> 
I cannot read kanji, but this is so cute. I think this is a New Year's good luck charm. That's so sweet. <laughs> I get sentimental over the weirdest things, but like, that's so cute. See, like, it doesn't really sound like a bell. It sounds like a broken part that's just like rattling around. I don't want to insult the cute charm, but like in its package, that's kind of what it sounded like. So I really thought something might be broken in here, but this is so cute. Okay. So it comes in this box. They have plenty of bubble wrap on everything. I'm so happy to see it. They did have like an extra um, protective option. I did not do that. I was just like, I want to see what your normal wrapping is like. So this is their normal wrapping. Like, this is great. <laughs> We're not going to talk about why I ordered a Hongjun placement. Because <laughs> I'm going to eat off his face. <laughs> Okay, let me get everything out of this box and we will start going through it. Okay, this looks like chaos and it is, but <laughs> this is organized chaos. So I have sorted everything into piles belonging to each group. Yes, ATs has three piles. We're not, we're not gonna worry about that. So first thing we'll go through is all of the albums, some of which I ordered some of which I did not. So I did order an OT8 set of the Paradigm album because they had member versions. So this is Hongjun's. All the backs are the same, by the way. So there you go. This is Hongjun's. In case anybody was like, wanted to know what they look like. This is Hua, Yuno, Yosan, Sunny. Here's Minky. He's the only one who came damaged. I'm so sad about it. And I might buy a new one. Young and my baby Jungo. And then I also got sent another Young. So I think my friend ordered this one. And then I got sent this in hyphen um, Japanese album. Cause I bought some in hyphen Japanese cards and they were like, you know what she needs? An album. I also got sent this Taeyong Digi Pack because I bought some Taeyong photo cards. I also got sent this Manifesto J Engine version for no real reason. And then I also got sent this Epilogue A version album for no reason. So that's all of the albums. Next, we will just go through like the bigger stuff. So, first thing is this Wuyang Tower Records flyer. I honestly thought this was gonna be smaller, <laughs> but it's not, it's quite big. So I may or may not collect OT8 of these, but this is for my friend. I also bought ATZ's first light stick. I love it. I love it so much. It does not have batteries in it. I don't think you can ship things with batteries in it, can you? I don't know. But yes, it does work, but it doesn't have batteries, but this is ATZ's first light stick. I've been wanting this for such a long time, so I was so happy to find it. I also bought ATZ's first mini light stick. I think this one is from like our first broadcast or something like that. But yes, it's so cute. This one also works, but also does not have batteries currently. This is a keychain from the Sailor package. So ATs did more sound check cards, but they were only available in Korea. I bought that sound check package from somebody in Japan. So this is the lanyard to that. I also bought um, some stuff from the ATs cafe collab that they did back in like Wave Illusion era, maybe? I forget, but this was like a little pouch bag that you could get. So this came in the set. This is <laughs> Hong Jun's like, table cloth thing I don't know it also came in a set okay I truly don't know what this is but this is this is it <laughs> this is what came in this set I don't know what this is or what it is for I thought it was like a like cloth placemat thing but that does not seem to be the case so I don't know what it is I also bought this. So this was merch from the fellowship tour from last year? <laughs> Question mark. It's a reversible pouch. 
I don't honestly care that much about the pouch. I just wanted the ID. So I bought it because it came with the IDs. It does have full OT8 set in here, but yeah. But apparently this pouch is reversible, but who would ever want this side? Honestly, the gray side, just leave it on the black side. I don't know why it's reversible, but yes, I also got that. And then this is the envelope for the sailor package. It came with all the stuff and I'm just gonna leave this wrap because there's nothing in here. So yeah. This is from that same AT's cafe. This is Hong Jun's cafe set. So this is literally a placemat. <laughs> ah! I'm just gonna. Yep. There he is. There we go. I do actually already have his um, photo sticker from the cafe and his message card, um, but I did not have his coaster and his drink tag. So that's what I really wanted. Um, but it just came in a set with his with his placemat. And so now I own a literal Hong Jun placemat and I don't <laughs> I don't know how to cope with that, honestly. <laughs> but I but I own it. So there we go. All right, other random things. Is this an hyphen standee? I think you have to like buy a member to put in here, but here's the base for some reason. I, I don't know. <laughs> I also got sent this Heesung postcard, but I already have it. I'm pretty sure it came in a set with something, but I don't know what. So this is Taeyong's poster from the Jiju version, I think. Pretty sure. I don't even know what the other version is. Oh, wait, is it the two baddies version? I think so. I think this is not that version. So, <laughs> and then the last bigger item is this huge and hy hyphen set postcards from the Japanese album. And that's the last bigger thing. So I'll bring in close so we can go through all these photo cards. Okay, so I'll start out with things that my friend ordered first. That way I can just keep that all together. So this is Young's like fan club, Japanese fan club sticker set. So she got that. And then she also got his keychains from a Japanese pop-up store. They are so thick, but she loves his hair like this. <laughs> so she wanted to get those. We also have some ooh, lucky draws. So this is a movement era with new lucky draw. That's PVC. So he's a thick boy. Also have his tower records clear square. I don't know what else to call this. It is clear and it is a square. I, <laughs> it's such odd, such an odd thing. We have a sound wave lucky draw, a fever three. Soundwave Lucky Draw, I do believe. I don't know which version, because there was there was two. There was two rounds. Um, and then we have some of his paradigm cards. So this is one of his solo cards. This is a solo card. This is a Tower Records benefit. This is a regular card. This is a limited card, and this is a limited card. Then we have Young's Tower Records from Fever Epilogue. And then we have also Fever Epilogue. This is an Everline, I do believe. I think this is an Everline card. So many woos. This is from the Dreamers pop-up shop, Tower Records. This is a Wuyong, what is that, Wonderwall? Yeah. The amount of 80s in my brain. <laughs> ah, and then this, I think is a Who's Fan Lucky Draw? I think this is what this is, pretty sure. I'm like 60% sure. <laughs> and she got a metric ton of in hyphen. So we have Miki, both versions from their Japanese album. We have Sanu, both versions. We have Jake, both versions. 
we have J both versions. We have Hyesung both versions. And we have Jungwon both versions. Oh, and Sunghoon. I literally forgot about Sunghoon. <laughs> I was like, that's everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. And then it also in this set came with all seven of their stickers. I don't, I don't know. Universal? It says Universal. Universal stickers. But yeah, there's nothing on the back. Just the sticker. But they're photo card size and that's what matters. Okay. So this was all of the stuff that is for my friend that I order on her behalf in this order. Clearly we both have a Mercari problem. Okay, so we will start with the groups that I have the least for and work up to ATs. Because <laughs> we all know that I bought the most for ATs. I always buy the most for ATs. But this is, was, this was the last Kino card that I needed. Um, to finish my Kino collection for Monsta X. But they are having a comeback now on like January 9th. And so this is no longer the case. This is just <laughs> another Kino card for the pile. But at least I am caught up now. Just, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of space. There we go. And Ken can live over there. Next up, I have a couple of cards for Taeyong. So I did buy his Japanese version cards um, for two baddies. He's the only one I bought the Japanese cards for because they were hard to find. So I do believe this is one and then this is the other Japanese version. And then the other, these two are just like the regular version. I also got this last Taeyong card that I needed. So this is um, his chain. Yeah, chain. This is his chain card from their Japanese album. So with this, I am completely and entirely caught up with Taeyong now, including the latest era. But 127 is also having to come back, so yeah. <laughs> I finally, finally got the 10 Universe Lucky Draw. It's been so long. It's almost 2023 now. But yes, I finally got them both versions for 10. I've been looking for his lucky draw forever and they kept getting canceled. Ugh. So that's all for NCT. And then I have my Epix babies. So I did take a break from collecting them for a little bit. Um, just because everybody came back all at once. So, you know, sacrifices had to be made in the name of 80s. Um, but I did go back and I am mostly caught up with them now. So these are Jeff and Lou's album cards for Prelude to Anxiety. Yeah, Prelude to Anxiety, chapter one. They had so much I needed to catch up on, but luckily I was able to find most things in a set. This is one of his special cards because it's square for no reason. And then look at these cute unit cards. I got it for the Jeff and Moon one because obviously I collect those two, but it also has Moon and Bexong, and that's adorable. I have a friend who collects Bexong, so I might give that one to her. And then this is from their latest album, Puppy Love. So I got Moon's entire set. I was so happy to find everything in just one set. He is such an adorable child. Look how cute this card is. Like, look at it. <laughs> but yes, I found him in a full set, but I couldn't find Jeff in a full set, so I had to buy his in pieces. So I don't think all of Jeff's cards are in here. Can't see them. Oh, I That's that's as good as we're gonna get. All right. So, speaking of taking breaks on collections, I did start um, catching up on Kevin. I feel like the community needs to normalize taking breaks. It's not all or nothing. You don't have to collect everything 
as it comes out or not at all. Like, I took a break for three hours or so before I was like, okay, now I'm ready to go back. This is I just got overwhelmed with collecting him, not because he's expensive or because, you know, the cards were hard to find, but just because I kept getting scammed and I was honestly so sick of it. So I was like, I just need a break from this group, from collecting them, from dealing with that community. And so I just took a break for like three, four albums. And now that I'm feeling better, I'm like, okay, I will go back and I will get his cards. So yes, I managed to find all of his for the next album we'll see how that goes and if I really really miss them then I will but for now I'm just planning on collecting He Sung and then continuing to do the solo jacket cards for um the Japanese releases just because I really like those cards but yeah just He Sung because in hyphen's doing the most oh this is a in hyphen lucky draw but I already have this so this must be for said friend who also collects in huh more Jungwon so these are Jungwon solo jackets something and then something else pretty sure this one <laughs> is the other solo jacket and then this one has different edges so this is probably from something else but it came in the set so I was like okay and then here is Hisung's solo jacket cards, I think. I honestly haven't looked at their template in months. This album dropped like a month and a half ago, but I'm pretty sure this is his Weverse Japan card because they were concept cards. Yeah, I do try to still get just like a full nine pocket page of Hisung cards because um, they usually drop like a limited edition, a regular edition, solo editions and pobs and such and so forth so but yes here is another Sanu set because I needed one Sanu card so I was like okay well a set it is a set it is I feel like it was this card his thumbs up card I'm not sure though then we've got more he sung so like I said they had like a regular edition a limited edition the edition edition <laughs> so much that's why i don't collect all three of them for japanese releases because they really do a lot but i have a weakness for heesung i know you've never noticed those of you watching my channel i know you've never noticed <laughs> that i have a weakness for heesung but i do look how cute <laughs> 
I just love him. Anyway, I don't know what this Jung Wan card is. It's a manifesto one though. It might have come with some kind of set, but I don't know what it is. Also, I have two. So it definitely came with a set of something, but I don't know what. <laughs> and then here is a solo Jung Wan card. Because again, I just had to suck it up and find the last in manifesto cards. This, I think, is a pob, which means it's probably for my friend because I didn't order any pobs for Jung Wan because I like living. This is a manifesto card, an album card. And then this is an album card as well. We were really trying. We were really trying. Okay. So this is all the non AT. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to get all this and then we will do the final part of this 80s. All right. Last but not least, we have some 80s. I feel like not that much today, but I say that every day and then it's 44 sets of cards. Anyway, so this is the last, you know, I needed for the um, Fever Dear Diary photo book because I ended up collecting OT8 of that. So there's this, you know. Oh, I can't. No. It. No. <laughs> okay, good enough. This is the wrong, you know. I'm very upset about it because they said it was Apple Music, but this is not Apple Music. This is Beat Row, you know. <laughs> I'm genuinely so upset about it because I need the green back, you know. I literally bought this card twice. Both of them is Apple, Apple Music. They are both Beat Road. <sighs> I'll never finish this set. Why? I also did finally find the Songhua, who I kept buying Beat Road for, but this one is actually Apple Music this time. So we did finally get the Songhua one. But I'm still looking for this Yuno know, with the green back. And then this is Songhua's Rakuten card from Fever Part 2. Isn't he pretty? He's just pretty. We're not gonna talk about it. Honestly, he should be in the corner because he's matte. So there will be no glare on him. You know, cooperate cooperate you know there we go okay next up I bought this tower records set from paradigm it's like double du double sleeved I was like how do I get in here but yeah I bought OT8 so here's Hongjun that's what all the backs look like and here's Huang you know, you're sunny, sunny, minky, boyangi, and the, my baby Jong O, of course. He looks stunning in his all black. I love it. Um, it also came with these three album cards. So it came with an album card for, you know, one for your song. And one for Jong Ho. But in true shy fashion, I just bought a set. <laughs> so, this, well, technically, this is two sets. But anyway, so this is their solo jacket card. So, this came from their like member jewel cases. So, we have Hong Jun, Sung Kwang, Yu No, Yo Sang Yi. Sunny. Oh, this needs to be down here. Minky. Wuyong. And how is this screen already full? <laughs> but yes, it came with both versions of their solo jacket. So, yeah. And here's Wall. But the way that I literally haven't even made a dent. I have not even made a dent in this collection yet. I just, oh, it's gonna be such a long, it's it's gonna be a long collect. It's gonna take me a long time. So buckle up. 
this is this is only the beginning and there's so much more to go so this is Hong Joon's Who's Fan card. I did end up trading somebody for this card, so I've already completed this collection, thank goodness. Um, but I did buy it just in case that trade fell through, so I have an extra. And then I also bought Hong Joon's um, Everline Lucky Draw Message card, I think this is called. So it's literally just a message on like a Lucky Draw PVC card, but it's Hong Joon, so I need it. This one, so irritating. I'm so irritated by these cards. Why would they do this? So this one, when I found out that there was actually two versions and I was collecting the Apple Music, I was like, well, crap, I need Hong Joon's Beat Road. Guess which one this one is? Yeah. Yeah. Not Beat Road. This one's Apple Music. <sighs> I swear, finding these is such a pain. It is such a pain because nobody ever posts photos of the back so that I know. They just post photos of the front and it is so hard to tell from the front. So I still need Hung Joon's Beat Road. And then this, these are the photo cards from the Sailor Package. So again, this was the equivalent of the sound check cards that they did the last time. So here's Hong Joon. Here's what the back of all of them look like. So we will just put them up here. Here's Hua. And my baby. I just love how cohesive this set is. Not that you can see Song Hua because he's shining bright like a freaking star. I know you're a Shine Hua, but could you stop? <laughs> All right. And then the last two cards are super exciting for me, at least. So the first one is a winner's PC. <laughs> it is Jonga's winner PC in his little pajamas. This is so cute. So I decided I wanted to collect my top four for the um, pajama winner's PCs, simply because the pajamas were so cute. <laughs> I have a weakness for pajamas apparently, but this is Jongo and his little bear pajamas. Like, I needed this winner's card, I needed it. So I got his, and then literally the most exciting and most expensive card I now own. Like, I don't even wanna set him down. <laughs> This is none other than Hong Joon's Universe Winners PCs. There are only 50 of these and they are so hard to find. And he was over $400. Like he is by far the most expensive PC I own. He might be the most expensive collectible I own, which is saying something because I also collect anime collectibles and those can get up there. But yeah. <laughs> Just, everybody just gaze upon him. I need everybody to just <laughs> look at him to make it worth it. <laughs> uh, not to make it worth it, because I love this card. I This is absolutely my favorite Hong Joon card in existence now. I loved this from the moment I saw it, but these were so hard. These were so very hard to find and so very hard to get. And when they did pop up, they were super expensive. Um, the last time he popped up, he was like $600, so I had to pass. But when I saw him for $400, I was like, it's a lot, but I really, really love this card and it's very special. So I decided to get him. I will not take him out of the sleep. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, ma'am. But I will be double sleeping him later. But yes. So this is Hong Joon's Universe Winners PC. And he is the final PC for this haul. So... Thank you so much for joining me and staying until the end if you did. And until the next time I buy a ridiculously expensive card, which is hopefully not, not soon. <laughs> Bye! Oh,